How many of you guys out there try and support your local fishing tackle shop? This week on Fish and Yak. Hi guys, Glenn from Fish and Yak. Just a quick question, how many of you guys out there try and support your local fishing tackle shop or proprietor? I'm not talking about the big box stores and we know who they are, those stores that sell everything, but I'm talking about the <clears throat> corner fishing tackle shop or the mums and dads out there that own and operate a fishing tackle shop throughout this country. These stores are slowly becoming extinct because with Australians now wanting everything under one roof, as with all industries, these big box stores are taking control and taking over, quite frankly. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, this video isn't about <coughs> knocking, knocking those big department stores out of the arena. I'm not talking about that. But I'm talking about you guys going in and supporting the little guy, the small guy, right? And as we all uh, know in Australia, we always support the underdogs. So I know personally I try and support the local fishing tackle shop. Whether I've got to drive 20 kilometres to do that, I will do that. Now, and nine times out of ten you'll find that they are cheaper or will do a better deal than the big box stores. But it's not only the price that uh, I've noticed with these um, two different operators, I'm talking about service. And I'm not talking about, how you going sir, if you need anything just give us a hand. That's not the service I'm talking about. I'm talking about knowledge of the local area, knowledge of the equipment that they, uh, or you could possibly buy from them, and the friendliness that you get by shopping or by spending your hard earned dollars supporting a local family that might own your local tackle uh, tackle shop. Uh, as I said, I I do go to these big box stores because one, if I'm desperate for something and I've been fishing for over 40 years and I know exactly what I need, I can go there and buy it and away I go. But for any of the new guys out there that are really, you know, not up to speed with everything, they tend to gravitate to these big box stores because it's probably a bit easier, which I understand. However, if you get a chance, try and support your uh, local fishing tackle shop. Now, I remember years and years ago, there used to be two and three in every suburb. That's not happening anymore. There are a few in each suburb of Sydney. Uh, I've got two very close to where I live, and I try and support those guys because they usually the bloke that's serving you is usually the guy that owns the shop. And that means a lot. It means a lot for him, and it means a lot for you as the customer, and also for the industry. So by all means, shop at those big stores. Um, do your best with them if you can. I go to them, but not all the time. If I specifically want something and it's not only about price for me, it's about service. I'll go to my local guy and shop there and spend my money with those guys. So I just thought I'd put that out there. As I said, it's in no way is it to um, degrade or put down the big big outlets. We all shop there. And as I said, I, I, I do and I, I currently do. But I'd say 80% of my gear that I buy is from the local tackle guy. And if he hasn't got it, He'll get it in, and as I said, nine times out of ten, he'll match, if not beat, the big box price stores. So think about that. Just every now and again, before you go, or you're wanting to buy some tackle, have a look around to see if there's a local tackle store or tackle shop near you, and go and see them. Because you just might score a bargain, but you'll get very good advice, and guess what? You might get even a good friend out of it. So give that a go. So I just thought I'd put that out there. In no way is it to rubbish the big stores. It's just that I think we should all try and support our local fishing tackle shop. Thanks for watching.